Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video. iOS 16 is finally here and so is the brand new lock screen with a ton of options to customize it and make it look really, really different. So in this video, I will show you guys five different setups that you can create on the lock screen of your iPhone running iOS 16. The first one would be a really simple setup. If you like minimal stuff, you probably don't want to have a lot of things going on on the lock screen. You just want to have a simple setup. If you want to do that, what you need to do, head on to the lock screen customization section and just go here, tap the plus button and just choose a wallpaper that you want to use maybe from your photos library or you can pick one of the colors that Apple has added on the wallpaper section. So tap here. And once you choose the photo that you want to use, this is what you will see on the lock screen. So you don't want to add anything here, but you can actually customize other stuff like the clock here. Maybe you can make the font a little thinner that it looks much, much better. What I suggest you do is that you change the color of the font right here and pick a color from one of the colors that's on the wallpaper. So you can see right here, we have a few colors. What we can do is just slide here tab there and tab the color picker and now we can go ahead and pick a color from the wallpaper here so let's just pick that red right there tab here and now tab add and you will see how cool this looks so this is very minimal and you can see the colors of the date right there and the clock will correspond with the colors on the wallpaper here that makes the lock screen look really simple and very very cool now, of course, one of the coolest features of the lock screen on iOS 16 is the depth effect, something like this here. You can see how cool this looks. Now, to create this setup, you will need a wallpaper that has that depth effect. Now, I have two apps that I use here. Wallpaper Central, if you go on this app, you will find here under collections, the depth effect wallpapers. All these wallpapers have that depth effect and you can use any of them on the lock screen with a depth effect. So let's just try one of these. So let's try this one, download it, and we will create a setup using this wallpaper. I have another app here called Lock. I'll leave this link also right down below in the description of the video. So you wanna use any of these, you can just download wallpapers from these to create that depth effect on the lock screen. So once you have your wallpaper downloaded, all you have to do is go ahead and create a new lock screen and load the wallpaper we just downloaded. Now, when it comes to the depth effect on the lock screen, it's a bit tricky. You can actually zoom in and out to cover more or less the clock here. But if you zoom too much in, you can see it will actually disable the depth effect. Now, I can zoom more here. Just bring down the photo and then move it up like this if you want to zoom closer. But again, if you just move it all the way up, it will just disable the depth effect. But just try to zoom in as much as possible without removing the depth effect. And then of course, you will have a very, very nice look. Now, of course, what you can do here is change the color or the font if you want to. If you think one of the other fonts will look better with the wallpaper, you can do it from here. And again, change the color if you want to do that as well. But one thing you cannot do with this setup is add widgets. You can only add the inline widgets which are at the top right there. So you tap there and you can choose whichever of the widgets you have to add, but you won't be able to actually add the, the widgets here because those will remove the depth effect on the wallpaper. So this is one of the best setups that you can create on iOS 16 with a depth effect and you will find a ton of different wallpapers that actually look really, really cool and will make the lock screen of your device look really different. And now let's move on to widgets. Now here is a really cool setup that you can create using widgets. Now I will show you guys this one just as an example. This is a setup containing only widgets for the battery. Of course, most iPhone users will have other devices as, as well, like an Apple Watch maybe or your AirPods. So if you wanna have batteries on the lock screen for all of your devices, you can do that using this setup. So of course, load a wallpaper, create right here the lock screen and then go to customize. Here we'll have the option to add the widgets. Now what you can do is add as many battery widgets as you want. So you tap on batteries and then just add the widget. So you can add up to four different smaller ones, two bigger ones or two smaller and one bigger, just like I have right here. But you can see this is actually automatic. So it will display the most current like battery 
the devices you have connected to your iPhone. But what you can do here is tap on one of those and disable the automatic option. Now right here, I have the battery of this device. On this other one, which I accidentally removed, I can just tap there, disable it, and choose the device from here. Let's say I wanna have the Apple Watch there. Now we're good to go. And here you can see I have the AirPods, but that's automatic. If I wanna do this manually, I can just go ahead and choose whatever I want there. Just pick the device, and now you have this really, really cool looking lock screen with all the info about the batteries of your iPhone right here. Again, you can of course customize these, like change the color, anything you wanna do here, make it look better on your lock screen. And of course you can also customize the top, the inline right there. You can also add here a battery if you want to. So you can do that by using a third party app which allows us to add other batteries. I will leave one of those apps linked right down below in the description of the video. I don't think I have one right here installed, but you can actually do that and have even more batteries on the lock screen of your device. And last but not least is the shuffle setup. This is a pretty cool feature. I never thought Apple would do something like this on the iPhone. So go ahead and create a new lock screen, tap the plus button here. And from the menu here, make sure you choose shuffle photos. And once you have done that, you can go to your photo library and just pick your wallpapers. This is actually really cool. So you can pick a lot of different wallpapers here and move through them very easily. So you tap add. And once you have them added to your lock screen, of course you can customize here anything you want, add widgets, change the colors here, anything just like you would do on a normal set up on your lock screen, but you will have this option right here. You tap the three dots and you can choose how you want to change these. You can do that daily. So the six wallpapers I just selected will be changed through six days. Every day I will have one of the wallpapers or what you can do is choose hourly. Of course that will change hourly and then you can choose unlock. So every time you lock and unlock your device, you will have a new wallpaper or untap, which is really cool. Now, once you have done that, you tap the add button and you have now set this lock screen for your device. This is a pretty cool setup. And every time you tap on it, as you can see, it will actually change your lock screen, which is really interesting. Now, what you can do here is also go back and tap customize and tap this button here. It will show you which wallpapers you're using. And from here, you can remove these wallpapers or add new ones. So that's it for this video, guys. These are five setups that you can create on the lock screen of your iPhone running iOS 16 with the new lock screen features. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this. Leave a like on this one. And I will see you on the next video.